video here from the shutdown studio. Of course, I am going to demonstrate triple crochet in slow motion, adding to both my slow motion playlist and my crochet for knitters playlist. If you would like to see those playlists, you can click the little I in the upper right hand corner. I'll also put them in the video description field below. Now, as we've talked about in the other crochet videos, the other new slow mo crochet videos, crochet stitches get taller. Um, that's how we talk about crochet stitches, very different from knit stitches. So you have slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, and triple crochet is one of the longer stitches. And it's a little bit, I think, I don't like working it as much. I think it's a little bit trickier to work, but it does make for a blanket or something that goes very quickly because each stitch is so long. I will show you each one of those stitches and a demonstration of the stitch. Let's go slow-mo. Here are other samples of crochet to show how long the stitches get. This one is single crochet and a bit taller. We go half double crochet Taller yet, these are double crochet. And today's video, triple crochet. And first I want to demonstrate working triple crochets into a foundation chain. And I'll give you a link here to my slow-mo foundation chain video if you need that. And different patterns will have you working this a little bit differently. Um, I'm going to go into the top leg of the V going into the fifth stitch from the hook. And like I said, some patterns will have you doing this differently. Some might have you have you go in the fourth stitch from the hook or have you <clears throat> go into the spine or the back of the crochet chain. A good rule of thumb is to go into the fifth from the hook. I'm yarning over twice. So there are three loops on my hook. going into the chain. And the foundation row is always the hardest because there's really nothing to hang on to. But you get through it and then things get easier. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop. Grab the yarn pull through two grab the yarn pull through two grab the yarn pull through two until you have one loop left on the hook of course, I keep wanting to say needle. Yarn over twice. Go into the next stitch on the chain. Grab the yarn, pull up a loop. Grab the yarn, pull through two, grab the yarn, 
pull through two, grab the yarn, pull through two, one loop left on your hook. And now I want to show you working this when you actually have a little bit of fabric, not on the foundation row. And when you're working this in a flat piece in rows, you always, in crochet, because the stitches are tall, you always want to do what's called chaining up. And chaining up will make kind of the, well, it does count as a stitch. It will make the first stitch at the edge and get your loop kind of up there high enough to work the other stitches. With triple crochet, a good rule of thumb is to chain up four. So that's how I'm going to start every row. Just the first stitch. And then I'll turn the work to get going the right direction. And I'll work these just like I did the foundation row. Yarn over twice. And I'm going to go under both legs of the V this time. And again, your pattern might have you going through the front leg or the back leg. I like to go under both. Um, it doesn't leave a ridge, I guess, is the main reason. <laughs> Grab the yarn, pull up a loop. Grab the yarn. Pull through two, grab the yarn, pull through two, and you see I keep readjusting my pincher fingers. After I pull through two, I readjust to get a grip close to where the hook is. Makes it a lot easier to pull through those two loops as you get further and further up the stitch. Um, triple crochet is also a fast way to know if your tension is too tight because you'll have a difficult time getting the hook through, um, especially towards the end of the stitch. So double yarn over, go into the fabric, grab the yarn, and pull up a loop. Grab the yarn, pull through two, grab the yarn, pull through two, and then I'm readjusting my pincher fingers to make it easy when I grab the yarn to pull through the last two. One more, double yarn over, into the fabric, pull up one loop, Grab the yarn, pull through two. Grab the yarn, pull through two. 
I sound like a broken record. <laughs> I should say something different. Catch the yarn. Whoops, I didn't even do it. <laughs> okay. Almost lost everything here. Getting punchy here at the end of the video. Slide through the last two stitches. When you have one loop left on the hook, you're finished with that stitch. And that's it. Triple crochet, slow motion. I hope that helps with your project. Good luck.